Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Louise Gluck from Faithful and Virtuous Night, published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giraud in 2014. This poem is entitled A Work of Fiction. As I turned over the last page, after many nights, a wave of sorrow enveloped me. Where had they all gone, these people who had seemed so real? To distract myself, I walked out into the night. Instinctively, I lit a cigarette. In the dark, the cigarette glowed, like a fire lit by a survivor. But who would see this light, this small dot among the infinite stars? I stood a while in the dark, the cigarette glowing and growing small, each breath patiently destroying me. How small it was, how brief, 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 but inside me now, which the stars never be. And that was uh, Louise Gluck, a work of fiction from Faithful and Virtuous Night, uh, Farrar, Strauss, and Giraud, 2014. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Louise Gluck, as well as where to purchase this book, and more information about other projects and series I'm working on. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments what you are enjoying in this series, what you enjoyed about this particular reading, or if there's any suggestions you have. Uh, particularly if you have suggestions about other poems or poets that I could feature on this series. Um, if you want to support this channel, it's very simple. Just hit the like button, hit that little thumbs up. Uh, if you want, you could subscribe to the channel. That'll keep you notified every time there's a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And uh, feel free to, to share these links to the videos on social media. All this helps um, spread the word about these poets and about the work that they they've written and in some small way expands our awareness as a community and as a culture of great work, great poetry that's happening out there. So um, I encourage you to do so. Um, I am thankful for all your support, especially those of you who are brand new subscribers um, and appreciate the, the time and effort uh, you put into your own creative practice, whether you're a creator of poetry, fiction, nonfiction, um, visual art, music, whatever it is that you're busy creating, I applaud you for it and encourage you to keep pursuing it. I'm grateful for opportunities to use technology um, to communicate and to share these things with others. And I'm thankful for the ways in which we are stronger as a community and as, a, as, as people, as humanity, um, for the exchange of ideas, for the encounter with beauty, um, for moments in which we feel empathy and understanding, we can imagine something through the language of someone else. And in some small way, uh, the gap between us shrinks come closer together. I'm grateful for the power of literature and art to do that. I encourage you to keep doing your part in that. Whether you are a creator or a reader, um, your part is, is just as vital. Many of us are both. So um, keep reading, keep writing, keep being involved in the work of uh, great art. And uh, we'll be back again soon, a um, couple days with more poetry and more reading. Until then, take care, stay safe and warm. It is winter for many of us, and uh, it has been very cold here lately uh, where I live in Canada. Um, so I do appreciate having, a wall, having walls and a roof and warmth in these days thankful for many blessings that I enjoy, uh, not the least of which uh, poetry, great poetry that surrounds me. And uh, wishing you all the very best until our next reading and next poem. Um, stay safe and well, and we'll be back again soon.